Hi, I'm Jen, and today I'm going to show you about the best part of Lightroom, which is the brush tool. It makes a really similar mask to Photoshop that you would do with layers, um, but it's a little bit easier to use and right here in Lightroom, so you don't have to go anywhere else. So in your Develop tab of Lightroom, your brush is right over here at the very far right. Today, to show you the changes that I'm making, I'm going to do a split screen so you can see the before and after. And I've already adjusted my um, exposure and brightness a little bit. But So from the brushes, there's a bunch of presets in here that Lightroom comes with standard. And these are fantastic. This is where you will do things like selective editing, dodging and burning, um, color pops, lightning faces, um, getting rid of some shadows, lightening up shadows whatever you want to do. So to start, let's do a skin softening brush and um, we're going to turn it up just a little bit higher than I normally would just to kind of show you what's going on. So this area right here is where you'll be adjusting your actual brush. You can change the size by moving it up and down or you can just scroll up and down with your mouse. The feather is going to change the harshness of the edge of the brush, so if you want it to blend a little better, you want to change your feather up so it blends out to the edge. And then flow and density um, control, well, the flow and density, which is similar to the opacity. I like to turn mine um, right around 70. That way it's not super harsh, and I can go back over it again if I need to, but it's enough to show up. Um, so for skin softening, you just paint it right on the skin that you want to soften and her skin is showing up red because I chose to show the selected mask overlay here you don't have to do that but I like to do that so I can see exactly where I have um, painted with my brush so I don't miss any spots um, so let's just paint on and see if we can get rid of a little bit of these veins and a little bit of the the bumpiness that just naturally comes with skin um, I don't like to do this too much. You don't want to lose all the detail and make her look like a mannequin. Um, but it's great, especially for babies, because then it gives them that perfect porcelain skin. Now, I never go over the eyes, because that's detail that you never want to lose. I like to see every single little eyelash there. Um, but this is a great tool for things like wrinkles and acne. There you go. So when we think we've got it nice and good, just click on Done. And you can see that smooths out her skin a lot in these places, makes her look just a little bit more perfect. So let's see what else we can get into over here with our brush. Um, another thing that some people like to do is uh, dodge or burn, which is dark and enlightened. Um, let's zoom into her eyes a little bit. And we'll just do one eye for now so you can see. Um, to dodge is to lighten up, so you can give her a nice little boost on her eyes here. Let's turn the exposure up a little bit, just so we can really see. Um, so let me just paint a ring right in her eyes here. Um, if done improperly, this can look really stupid, but if done right, it can look really nice. There's some really great applications for this. So let's zoom out so we can see exactly what it did. So you can see the difference between these two eyes. It just gave her a nice little lighten of the eyes and boosted them a bit. So the difference between these two is pretty obvious. You don't have to do quite as severe as me, um, but I wanted to definitely be able to show you the options. So the teeth whitening brush is also really amazing. You can use it on the whites of eyes if you want and you can adjust how severe it is. Um, something else that is an option is to change the saturation. Um, we're gonna make this a black and white photo and then erase it out so this lemon is in color. Um, so get it and turn your saturation all the way down which is gonna take out all of, the, all of the color make it a full black and white photo. So let's continue to do that. Come on, there we go. Let's get it all black and white. And then before we click done, we're gonna click on erase and we're just going to erase what we just did and make this uh, lemon stay yellow. You can choose to change the saturation so the lemon's not quite so yellow um, or not. So that's just a fast, crappy job just to show you the options that you have. So that's the brush tool. And once you familiarize yourself with that, you're going to enjoy Lightroom a lot more and you're going to have a lot more options. So play around and have fun.